everyone welcome to my channel i hope everybody is doing well and safe so today i'm just recording a quick video with a new launch that what aws has provided and this was launched uh, on 27th of november as part of the reinvent cloudwatch internet monitoring which is still in a preview mode now i was looking for such kind of uh, monitoring from cloudwatch which helps me to you know gain the visibility over the internet traffic so let me go through some of the pointers and I'll jump quickly to my AWS management console to show you what kind of data that we are getting and how you can implement CloudWatch internet monitoring. So it's a new capability to CloudWatch that gives a visibility into how an internet issue might impact the performance and availability of your application. What does that mean? So sometime a customer might complain, hey, my application is running very slow. So obviously the slowness is part of a big issue. It can be on your platform. It can be on the database side. It can be on the app side, app server side, or your application code as well. But there is one more, <clears throat> one more platform which can create issue on the performance, which is on the internet side. So that's what we are trying to monitor. If it is a problem with internet or there is some other issue. So it allow you to reduce the time it takes to diagnose the internet issues from days to minute. Obviously, again, uh, we have a lot of different third party tool, I believe, present in the market that gives the same functionality, but this was missing from AWS CloudWatch. Now we have a native mechanism to monitor this kind of functionality. Internet monitoring use, uses the connectivity data that we capture from global networking footprint to calculate a baseline of a performance and availability of your internet traffic. So basically what internet monitoring over here is doing, it's capturing from the global networking of AWS, calculating with the baseline performance and the availability of internet traffic. This is the same data that we use at AWS to monitor our internet uptime and availability. So that's the same mechanism that now they have provided and open globally to the world, to their customers. With internet monitoring, you can gain the awareness of the problem that arise on the internet experience by you, your end user in a different geographic location and network. And you don't have to instrument anything into your application code. So this is something you don't have to play around with your application code to like inject something into your application code to get the data out of this internet monitoring preview. Okay. So I hope uh, this clears a lot in terms of what exactly internet monitoring from CloudWatch is providing to us. Again, <clears throat> it's a new service recently launched. So you just have to play around it and share your experience as well. I'm doing the same. So let me stop the presentation. Let me jump to my AWS management console. This is the CloudWatch. Now, if you go to CloudWatch under application monitoring, there is something, a new entry is here, which is internet monitoring in the preview mode. Now I've already configured this, but uh, let me show you how to configure it. And then we can go over the data because I'm running an instance, which is continuously pinging google.com, which is I'm going outbound and getting the response. I initiated this traffic just to check what kind of data I'm getting over here because this is a new, totally a new service, right? Recently launched. I also wanted to check what kind of data that we are getting and we can deep dive into it, right? So if you click on internet monitor, so steps are quite simple. Create a monitor, wait for a few minutes and observe the traffic and get insights for optimization, right? So in order to do that, click on create monitor, give the name, let's say demo one. And here you can add the resources. What are the resources? We have VPCs, CloudFront, workspaces directories. That shows where your application internet is all about. Okay. So click on add resource. So I, I have only VPCs available in my entire configuration, entire account. I don't have any workspace running. I don't have any cloud front distribution is running. Okay. I'm just trying to show you the configuration part. It's taking a bit of time to load. Come on, let me try one more time. 
why it's taking bit of time let me refresh leave the page maybe one of my internet issue so demo add let me open up a new tab meanwhile this is you know coming up i'll show you the data what we have basically cancel okay so this is something i have created and again as i said i'll show you how to configure it the configuration is quite straightforward because it's trying to load i'm not sure why it is slow maybe because of my internet or it's a new service taking time but yeah let me show you something what i have already present so i have created something called ie example that's the name now if you go to the overview section since i am continuously pinging google.com which is outbound to my server as you can see what in the overview section we have health score now this will show you uh, let's say if there is an issue then the variation of the traffic will be shown over here for me performance score is 100 so as of now i'm getting proper response okay um, on the graph side we have availability score performance score and health event score is less than 95 percent so that's what i believe uh, it shows you like there is a performance issue with the internet side within your application if we scroll down a bit we have something called internet traffic overview in terms of map now this map shows health events and global traffic over the time period that you have chosen that's where the filtration is present one hour two hours six hour or you can go for the customization as well four weeks right okay now if you scroll down a bit more here the health events will come or let's say for example if we have some issue and we are getting let's say 70 percent of health score then that entry will come over here as of now i'm getting proper response so obviously there is no active alerts presented over here so that's why no events active events okay uh, then we go to historical explorer again the same set of filtration here you can see performance score so performance score is the percentage that represents traffic that is not seeing latency again performance score is 100 availability score is also 100 there is no delay in the ping traffic by transfer as you can see it's growing because it's a continuous ping happening from last couple of hours i would say and then we have a round trip time so any variation any deviation that you will see let's say again the same example if i have 70 percent of the availability then the round trip time will show me all the differences and if I scroll it down, all the events will come over here. List health events of your application. For example, traffic impacted for N percent for health events for the location C and I, your ISP, uh, means that N percent of the traffic from CloudFront towards C over ISP is experiencing some sort of availability. Okay, so that's what it is, and if you want to get the insight this is something which i like very much over here the insight to my overall traffic if i scroll it down yeah that's what it is so overall traffic this much of bytes is the total traffic mb then we have uh, total traffic traffic out average availability score and performance score okay now city wise and country wise basically total traffic which country is basically showing at the top so we have us then bangalore hyderabad china so all you you are seeing everything right you are getting the insights over here now if you just select one of them it will show you everything like availability score is still 100 percent performance is 100 percent and 1.21 mb tra total traffic out total traffic in so it's an equal traffic right so that's what we are getting over here as well, which I like, as I said, more. Uh, let me, you know, just unselect this one. Uh, it's loading traffic optimization suggestion. So actually I need to, one sec, let me refresh it. 
since this is a new service i'm also exploring so i thought it's better for me to show you how you can get the data out of it right so let's wait scroll it down loading suggestions so this will show you like where you can optimize where you can go for the optimization so for example from hyderabad uh, we are getting current time uh, is 276 millisecond this is already optimized which is the fastest and rest as you can see you can uh, go for the optimization and see where, where it is uh, creating some issue so if i click on this cloudfront ec2 asia pack and first byte transfer here it is the graphical representation time to first byte comparison okay so that's what it is okay let me go back cancel this out yeah that's what it is uh monitor detail i'm going for my vpc entire vpc because that's where my ec2 instance is present the monitor is okay and actively processing the data perfect let me go back so that's what the you know all the configuration not the configuration all the data that what we are getting from this particular monitoring system let me go back to this configuration so as you can see all the vpcs i have only vpc into my system so you can select the vpc where your workload is running click add and you can add multiple it's not like one as you can see the regions are listed over here so it's you can say it's a consolidated dashboard a centralized system where you can get the monitoring and you can also configure the alert add give the tagging click next and you are done create monitor that's it you have to wait for 10 15 minutes or if you're already sending out a data it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to show the traffic and everything over here uh, is it it is pe in pending state initially but it will go to the active state uh, the active state will come pretty quick but the data will take time as you can see it might take up to 10 minutes of traffic data to appear in the new monitor you can also uh, configure the event bridge basically a rule that triggers now this is changed to active state so that's what uh, cloudwatch internet monitor is all about there is no additional fee for this service but the data ingestion in and out that's what it monitoring you have to pay cost for that Perfect. So I'll be sharing the link of the documentation. Also, you can visit the documentation part from here. So click on this documentation. You'll be redirected to that documentation page and you can go through all the pointers. Okay. So I hope this clears a lot what exactly we were trying to achieve with AWS CloudWatch monitoring system, internet monitoring. And I like this service because I was waiting for something cloud native within AWS and I got this. So mostly I'll be using this service more uh, in terms of, you know, judging the performance issue. Play it around, show it to the management. This is a good service launch this year. And if you're facing any issue in understanding, place out a comment in the comment section. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.